Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding running total for different genders and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called scores with four different columns, player name, gender, day, and score points, and these are their data types. The combination of gender and day is the primary key for this table and a competition is held between female team and the male team. Now, each row of this table indicates that a player with a particular gender has scored some point in a particular day. F is for female, M is for male. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the total score for each gender on each day. Now, Remember the wording of this, right? And why I am telling you to remember the wording for this is because why, because I will give you a reason why we should go through an example before jumping right in, right? So we are asked to write a SQL query to find the total score for each gender on each day, right? And the order of the result should be ordered by gender and day in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So basically this is the input and then uh, we need to return. So for each of the gender uh, on particular on different days, what were the score points, right? So just by reading this, what would you think or what would most of the people think? Okay, so for each particular day, so let's, let's say January 1st, 2018, uh, there were three t female members in the team and uh, let's say they scored six point each. So on January 1st, 2018, uh, total scores, total points scored by female uh, athletes are six into three, that is 18, right? So this is what one might be thinking of. But actually, if you look at the output, it is not the case. Basically, they want us to calculate the running total. So what does it mean, right? So if you see the output for this, right? So for female, right? So 30th of December, 2019, total points scored are 17. So female 30th of December, 2019, 17. Then on next day, 31st of December, 2019, 31st of December, 2019, 23 points were scored. So when you add 23 and 17, you get 40. So you understand we are basically calculating for each of the gender on different days what the, what is the running total of the scores. So that is a reason why one should not only depend upon the language of the question but also go through this example. And let's say this question was asked to you in an interview even though you think you understand a question just ask clarifying questions so that you absolutely know what you and your interviewer is thinking is exa exactly the same thing. So uh, this is what, so basically for different genders on different days, we need to calculate the running totals, right? Similarly for male uh, gender, if you think the first date is 18th of December, 2019, two points were scored. And then on next day, 25th of December, 2019, for male, uh, 11 points were scored. So 11 plus two is 13. So here, if you would be getting 13, right? So this is how, uh, this is what the output should look like. Okay, so let's jump right in and develop this query. So from this table called scores, right, we need to return three different uh, columns, right? Gender, day and total. And total is basically, this is an entirely new column. So you will have to create this new column and gender and day we can return from this scores table uh, but let's see like how we will generate this total column now when you re start reading about window functions running total is one of the classic example where you can use window functions right so it is like the very basic uh, starting point when you start uh, learning about window functions right so from this table scores, the first thing that we need to do is for each of the gender, we need to arrange the days in ascending order. And then we just need to calculate the, uh, like what was the score on that particular day. And then on the next line score on that particular day, plus the previous day and similar, similar stuff, right? So since we need to return 
the gender and day column as well so we return the gender day so these are the two outputs and the third column we need to uh, create right based on certain conditions or like whatever let's let's uh, work on the query right so first thing we need to calculate running total running total is basically you just sum up the things right so you sum up the values from what the column score points right and since we are writing a window function we use the clause over so every window function will have over clause no matter what right so over and then what you do since we need to do this for different genders so we partition by gender right so basically what will this do right let's uh, understand this step by step let's forget anything else after this right so let me just copy paste it and show you what is basically going to happen at this point of time right so um, yeah so this is the case so when i write partition by gender so what will it do is basically it will take all the male in one partition and all the female athletes in one partition right so this is one partition and this is another partition right so and it is not going to be the case like it is just for demonstration purposes that i have taken female uh, partition in the top and male on the bottom it can be anything right so it does not matter the only thing that that matters here to understand is it will basically create two partitions right now we need to create now, now we need to calculate the running total right so running total is basically your date should be aligned in uh, like increasing order right the second thing that we need to do is we need to order by day right but since if you see you need the result ordered by gender and day so you can basically do uh, like uh, do an order by gender as well as day right so order by gender comma day so now what will this do so again since f comes before m so like this will be on the top and then these rows will be shuffled in a way so that the uh, like the day column is now or basically this partition is now arranged in an ascending order of day right so the first day that comes is 30th of december 2019 among these four rows then the second row is going to be this one so it is going to be this then after this comes this first of january 2020 right so and then at the end this second row will come right so this happens right so at this point of the query this is what is happening and similarly for meal right so the first date would be 18th of december then 30th of december so this oh no not 30th the 25th of december right so 25th of december then comes 30th and 31st of december right so we copy it here we paste it and then at the end comes 7th of january right so basically now up to up till this point in the query this has now happened so the partitions are created based on gender and then uh, the those partitions are ordered by gender and the day and then once we have this then what we are doing is we are basically calculating the sum of the score points right now again there is a very important thing to note here if you run this query directly here so what you are going to have you are basically going and let's say you know uh, we are uh, aliasing this column as table right 
So your output is going to have three columns, gender, day, and total, right? Gender, day, and total, right? Now, gender, female. So if you go female, day is 2019, 12, 30, right? And total. Now, here is the key that I'm trying to make you understand, right? So when you write a window function in this manner, it basically, so whatever function you write here, so you basically are what you are doing, you are uh, calculating the sum score points where you are par creating partitions by gender and then like order and all does not matter. Basically, when you created the partition based on gender, so now this is one partition. So when you do sum of score points, it will sum up all the values in that particular column in that partition. So in this partition one, which has four rows, it will basically sum 1723, 1723. So that would be basically 80, right? 1723 is 40, 1723 is 40, 40 will plus 40 is 80. Now that is a problem. That is not what we need. So in that case, what we need to do is we need to tell the cursor that no, don't calculate the entire uh, sum at once. You start by row one, get the sum, then you move to second row and sum up all the values in score points column up to that particular column. So basically, wherever your cursor is at a particular point, only calculate the sum till that point, right? Because what is running total here? For the first row, it should be 17. For the second row, it should be 23 plus, plus 17. For third row, it should be 23, 17 plus 17. For fourth row, it should be 17 plus 23 plus 17 plus 23, right? So basically, wherever your cursor is, you are calculating the sum up to that row only. So in that case, what we do, we tell them. And how do we tell SQL to make sure that you are only calculating uh, some add till a particular row is you use a function called rows between and then when you start at like the very top you write a keyword called unbounded preceding preceding and current row so basically what it mean unbounded presenting means start from the very start of the partition and wherever your current row that is wherever your cursor is calculate the sum only up to that point now tell me in the comment section there are basically two uh, functions that can do this rows between and range between there is a very small subtle difference between rows between and range between and why it is advised to use rows between most of the times as compared to range between let me know in the comment section and if you cannot find it uh, comment down as well i will try to you know provide the answer okay so now once we do that now if we uh, uh, now this total column will have okay so on day one it, my cursor is at this point so now it would be having 17 then for row 2 so like for this right copy paste it here um, and here it would be 17 plus 23 that is 40 and that is what we need right in the output if you see 17 40 and then based on that right okay I also have another question for you. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about it? Okay. So if you say, if you think gender and day, we are returning gender, day and uh, a third column called total based on like what we discussed right now. Um, should we add distinct hair or not? And let me tell you the answer. We don't need to add distinct hair. Why do you think we don't need to add distinct here because again since 
we are using the scores table right so it can be possible that on a particular day right so we have multiple entries or duplicate entries right so why do we not need to enter or write distinct here and even if we don't write distinct here still it is going to be accepted and like our query is correct and if i you know uh, give you a hint if you read this this entire thing right so this entire thing you will get to know your answer let me know what uh, you think and why we are not uh, you know why do we not need to enter or write distinct here right okay so this looks good let me remove all this and let me run this okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it and see what happens so yeah it's a success it's accepted as well and this is how we do this question and if you don't have this uh, entire rows between unbound and preceding and current row what problems it might lead to these keywords can only take certain values if you know let me know down in the comment section as well i from what i know or from what i remember these can only take five or six at max values what are those different five or six values that it can take right okay so uh, let me know guys if this was useful let me know if your if the explanation was you know lucid and vivid um and i will see you guys in the next video